All right, you guys, this is probably going to be my favorite of all the skincare reactions because I am looking at Usher. Peace up, Peace up. Town. It's his pre-show skincare and wellness routine on Vogue. And I say this as in like, this is gonna be the best for me because teenage Susan has been in love with Usher for a very long time. And I also have to share a couple stories. When I worked at People Magazine, this was years ago, I had to go interview Usher. And one of my questions for him, this is like questions that get sent down from your editor, like you collect a bunch of them, was not my question. And the question is, what's your favorite body part? I had to ask Usher that, okay? And you can imagine he kind of looked at me like, and I was like, yeah, what's your favorite body part? Like recorder in his face. He did this, he goes. And so I went like, am I supposed to look down right now? And he's like, you know, no, I don't know, <laughs> tell me, <laughs> you know? And uh, like, there are very few times in my career as a People Magazine reporter where a celebrity left me a little bit speechless. And for a second there, I didn't know what to say because he had that cute little dimply smile of his. And I continue to think about him ever since. <laughs> Anyway, so Usher, uh, I'm excited about this. I'm gonna cross my fingers that it's good. I'm gonna make the assumption it is because he looks really great. As a reminder, these videos are meant to be educational. They're meant to be fun and entertaining. And really the whole purpose of these videos is to get a conversation started around skincare. Hey, what's up? It's Usher, and I'm gonna walk you through my everyday routine. The essence of the candles, the scents, all your senses are being activated in this moment. There's a, a candle that I get from a, a store by the name of Church in Los Angeles. It's a very specific own scent. This is Gardenia. I start everyday prep with a high rag. There's a big difference between warm washcloth, as we see on the screen, and what he called in that was a hot rag. <laughs> um, warm washcloth sounds more up my alley. And the reason for that is because it's really fine to prep your skin, get it ready for whatever kind of skin prep that you're gonna do, skincare products that you're gonna use on your skin. But just know there's a huge difference between warm and hot. Hot can be very devastating to your skin as somebody with melasma or you know anybody who's got you know skin issues, sensitivities, rosacea, anything like that, extremely hot water, a hot towel, washcloth, hot steam, all of that can actually irritate your skin more and exacerbate your skin issues. But if you're going in with a warm washcloth, huge difference. So just kind of keep that in mind. It's like so funny how just the difference in the words can also make a huge difference in how your skin's going to react. You know, black men, we really are specific about our hairline, so I'm gonna be really, really careful. It's almost like painting this work of art. I learned this technique by uh, not having access to any of this shit, to be honest. A hot rag will get you a long way, but you do have to be very careful of what you put on your skin. What it does is it actually exfoliates. J-A-O, if you don't know. A washcloth can exfoliate your skin, but you also, again, you wanna be really careful with that, right? It's not that he's doing anything wrong. It's just the language around it, right? You know this, if you've watched my videos, I always just want you to baby your skin. And he wasn't being rough with his skin at all. He was being pretty gentle. Yes, he kind of like brought it down his face, right? All in all, it really looked like he was pretty gentle with his skin. So it's really more like what is said around it, right? Like hot versus warm. Exfoliate, like you don't want to rub the crap out of your skin, but he didn't. So I think it's more like if you were to hear this from somebody, this advice, you might want to just remember that it's really in the action. And so do as he does, not as he says. Okay, really important, clean your hands, right? Mario Badescu, rose water, I'd love to say. I like the whole clean your hands, sanitize. If you're traveling, like if you're on an airplane and you're one of those people that likes to do your skincare routine on an airplane, sanitize your hands. In most cases, I would assume that somebody's washing their hands if they're in a bathroom before they're doing their skincare routine. He might be in a dressing room or something like that too. I love the smell of it. Soothing, gentle cleanser. I have no problem with that Mario Badescu toner. It's a staple, it's a classic. It's been in people's routines for a very long time. Does it add any real benefit for your skin? Honestly, I think that if you are hydrating your skin with a toning mist like that, and then you're quickly going in with your next skincare products, there is benefit to that. Hydrating your skin, making sure that you're putting on products to lock all of that hydration in, it can be as simple as just some rose water. It really can be. Will you? You know, use cleansers that don't necessarily lather. You almost feel like you're not really cleansing your skin. 
little confused now because I actually thought he must not be in a bathroom, which is why he's using the washcloth and then going in with the spray toner. But now he's actually cleansing his skin. So I would say that you don't have to do that. That almost felt like a ritual, which again, a ritual is great. I partially enjoy my nighttime skincare routine because it is part of my nighttime ritual. So if that's part of his ritual, especially pre-show, then by all means, like I'm not trying to judge that at all. But if we're just getting to like just skincare, like what you're supposed to do, you definitely don't need to do all those steps before you actually cleanse. Cleansing is the basis. It is going to set your skincare routine up for you. So it's really all about the cleanse. Now, lather, the way he said that if it doesn't get, you know, like really sudsy like that, I can't remember what exactly what he just said, but I feel like this is even something I've had to like educate around that it doesn't need to suds up to clean your skin. It just needs to actually clean your skin. And what you're really looking for in a cleanser is one that's not going to strip your skin. Because if you have stripped skin, then you're actually with all of your skincare products trying to fix that, to balance your skin back out. Whereas you wanna start with a cleanser that's actually going to just make your skin feel nice and clean, but also very hydrated and nourished. If you want something that suds up, Make sure it's just not stripping your skin. Make sure it is very nourishing. And I went through a great deal of really, really bad acne as a kid. I mean, my face broke out so bad, so I had to find something that was simple enough to be able to keep up. If you have enough time, which today we happen to. I'm getting calls, they're trying to pull me away because they didn't want me to share this incredible, life-changing experience for you to keep you looking young like I do forever. These are really cool because they're like golden. Peter Thomas Roth eye mask. Of course you're doing this by yourself. Don't feel high right, because you're going with your wife or your girlfriend or something like that. What are you doing, dude? You got like eye mask on? Yeah, I'm taking care of me. But am I not supposed to? You know what? I love seeing Usher use the Peter Thomas Roth gold eye masks there, especially pre-prep for a show. I do eye masks before I get on camera because it really does help to soothe and de-puff your face. So I love that he, he went in with those. I would have liked to have seen him put on something else first to just keep that hydration going that he started from his cleansing and to really nourish his skin. He would see so much more benefit from that. He does look amazingly young, but if you're dealing with anything like any fine lines or wrinkles, or anything, you will benefit so much from locking that hydration in because it'll just temporarily lock everything in and then plump it in turn, right? So then you just look like you've got fuller, like your skin looks like it's fuller. This whole purpose and point of taking a moment for you, some people choose to meditate, some people choose to say a prayer, whatever it is, you gotta take care of you in order to be able to take care of anybody else. You gotta straighten your own mask before you get anyone else straight. I'm 100% with him on that. You've probably heard me preach this a lot your ritual, right? Which is why I said those first couple of steps that he had seemed a little bit more of part, like part of his ritual. And I do think that if you are not taking care of yourself in whatever way that it suits you, right? Whether it's a skincare routine, exercise, meditation, prayer, like he said, whatever it is that helps you center yourself and focus on you, even if it's for just a few minutes, then by all means, please do it because it really is so important to all of us, especially in this kind of day and age where everything moves so quickly. There are so many people around you there are so many things happening. Work seems like it's so much faster. It's, you've got emails and text messages and social media coming at you all the time. You have to take those moments to ground yourself. And I think that's really important. This toner that I'm using, it actually is a rejuvenating toner. What was that toner? Let's, let's take a look. Hmm. I cannot find in the caption or anything what toner he used. So we don't know if, it's, if it was exfoliating, if it was just like a hydrating, antioxidant kind of toner, whatever toner it was. See, I would have wanted him to use that before the eye mask. And the only reason for that is because, well, the toner is kind of one, he used a, a cotton pad. So he's basically wiping anything off that he might've gotten like a, the serum that's part of the eye patch. So you're kind of wiping that off, but also, the toner, whatever serums he's about to put on right now, could benefit from the eye patches being on top. This is a Daily C antioxidant serum that I use for my skin. Now, this is a personal moment. I said I was gonna let you in on the secret. 
oh, I thought the eye patches were the secret. Love seeing Usher use a vitamin C serum. It's honestly so wild to see how far vitamin C serums have come because if you've been following me for a long time, like if you've been with me from the start, you know that like back when we started talking about vitamin C's and not just me, I say, I mean we as like an industry started talking about vitamin C's. It was like really hard to get people to understand why they might want a vitamin C serum, for instance. And now the way it's come, it's almost exhausting to hear, to see everybody using a vitamin C. It's like that ingredient has really taken hold and I love it. I love vitamin C's, but I do feel like that not all vitamin C serums are created equally. And what I'm truly looking for in a vitamin C serum is one that is going to be efficacious. And it's so hard to know if a vitamin C serum is efficacious. Even looking at this one, it's hard to say. It's a very short ingredient list, which doesn't always in my mind translate to efficacy because ascorbic acid is very unstable. And you've heard this before with vitamin C. That said, there are other vitamin C derivatives in this product that will not only help stabilize that vitamin C, the ascorbic acid, but also offer you more benefits as well. So he's got a lot of antioxidants going for him no matter what in this serum. I've never heard of this product before or even the brand actually. It's the Acne Expert Skincare Daily C Antioxidant Serum. It seems from what I'm gathering from this, that this was started from his esthetician. I'm gonna make the assumption that this is his esthetician's brand, which also, by the way, I'm very proud to say that I can confirm that Usher is a facial guy. Like he loves getting his facials from estheticians because I've known other estheticians in the industry, some that I've gone to as well, hint, hint, who have also worked on his skin. So I can confirm over the years, like decades, that Usher likes to go in for his, his regular facials, which probably has a lot to do with why he looks so great too besides jeans and everything. I use a brush for my face. Most people, they use a hand, ain't nothing wrong with you using it. I just, I'm particular about my line. I just feel they can't really mess with this line. The summertime, you do know that you're gonna sweat, perspire a little bit more. Usher, uh, sure, I'm, I'm really sorry to report this, but that's not that big of a secret. I know it might seem like it to you, but it's not a big secret, especially if you've ever had a makeup artist, they apply all their skincare products to your face with a brush. I actually think it is a great tip, especially if you're prepping your skin for makeup, especially pre-show, pre-on camera. Using a makeup brush helps to really evenly get your skincare product onto your skin. If you wanna be more precise with it and not get into the the hairline. Again, makeup artists do this all the time because they're not trying to mess up the hair that maybe somebody else did for their talent that's sitting in their seat or the hair that they might have even done on their talent. So they're always using a makeup brush to apply. If you do this regularly, that brush is going to soak up a lot of your skincare product, right? If you're putting like a serum onto it. So, you know, if you want to really get the most use out of your skincare serum, you might not want to use a brush because you get just as much efficacy by putting it on with your hands. But if you want to be more precise with your application, then then yes, a makeup brush is a really great way to do it. And just make sure you're getting one that's not gonna soak up as much. And another tip would be to make sure you're washing that makeup brush every time you use it because it's a little bit different than using your makeup also. You are putting it directly to clean skin and every time that you're soaking it up with all of that skincare product, the chances of it growing bacteria and other you know, things that can cause more breakouts even, it gets a little more elevated. So make sure you're washing that brush too if you're gonna be using it for your skincare. So there is a difference in terms of how um, which product you use and what type of product you use on your skin. Typically, I use what is called a calming moisturizing gel. Take a little bit in my hand. It has like cooling uh, properties inside of it that actually chills the skin out. I had a facialist and I just really enjoyed the feeling of a brush on my skin. But it looks like they're kind of hopping around with uh, him using the brush on his skin while also applying this moisturizer. Let me, let me finish watching him put this chill moisturizer on. It just makes me feel like I'm in a spa. This is my moment, so I want to feel like I'm in a spa. So I'm going to use a brush. And if you got something to say about it, you don't have to. This ain't your skin. This is my skin. This is true. This is very, very true. Okay, well, I, I'm really curious what this moisturizer is, so I want to take a look at it. This is the Acne Expert Skincare Calming Moisture Gel. Two things I want to point out. One, he gave a little credit to seeing a facialist who used a brush on his face. Acne Expert Skincare Calming Moisture Gel allows skin to breathe. That's what it says. Great for those who prefer a light hydrator. Let's look at the ingredient list. Also a very simple ingredient list. You know the funny thing about this is that it is calming actually. It has ingredients like elantuin, it has glycerin, panthenol, aloe vera. This is a very straightforward hydrating gel moisturizer. I love that he said it helps 
make his skin feel like it's cooling. That said, there aren't that many ingredients in here that are going to make it feel occlusive. And I get what he was saying. If you're gonna be sweating as a man, men have testosterone. Testosterone leads to a little bit more oil production, right? So if you know you're gonna be sweating, you already are prone to being a little bit more oily and you're gonna be on stage under like hot lights and all that kind of stuff, right? You definitely want to keep your skincare light. So a gel moisturizer would be the way to go. That said, if that's what I had in mind, I would love the gel cooling feeling, but I would look for something that's going to be a little bit more occlusive, that has more film formers in it, and that's going to lock everything in. Again, going back to that hydration, right? You wanna lock everything in, especially if you're gonna be wearing any kind of makeup, on stage makeup, be on camera. I almost imagine that this feels almost like a true gel. And so it's gonna feel really nice on the skin, but you're still gonna need to lock in that hydration. And so he's not gonna get that so far in this routine. He's not gonna get that lock in. And I think that that's really important, especially if you do know you're gonna be sweating. You wanna have a little bit of those silicones and those film formers that are going to help almost mattify and soften that texture of your skin while you're on stage performing. So it's just something to think about, right? I don't know what he's gonna put on next. Maybe whatever he does apply will go ahead and lock all that stuff in. If that's the case, then he's solid. This is a great hydrator then. I really like to take care of my, my face. I like to take care of myself. <laughs> Can I say in vain? Yeah, because I care about myself. I care about my skin. I care about how I look. This thing I'm preserving for you. <laughs> but, you know, our entertainment. Break for exercise. I mean, this is true. Sometimes I think about this and I'm like, why am I so vain? It's like, I am giving a lot of beauty advice. So I assume anyone who's even tuning in obviously is maybe not vain, but we care about the way we look. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that, right? I mean, same, Usher, I feel the same way. I want you to look good for me. <laughs> I think it's very understood why any entertainer might want to take care of the way they look. You know, I don't, I don't want that was wrinkles, so you have to like stretch it. Let's stretch it. Let's try. Okay, here we go. Only real note that I'd be like, mm, you might want to stop that. Those kinds of muscle exercises, like stretching out your skin, flexing your muscles, these are truly called expression lines. The best way to think about this when you're like, oh yeah, I should maybe like work out my lines or my face, like get my face muscles going. When doctors are talking about, and when I say doctors, like doctors, like dermatologists, plastic surgeons, when they're talking about treatments like Botox or Xeomin Dysport, any of those tox treatments, they constantly use the word dynamic like dynamic expression lines, like dynamic wrinkles, dynamic lines. And the reason why they're referring to it like that is because these are truly the muscles that are moving mostly with your expression that are causing lines over time. So when you're doing these kinds of movements with your face, you're actually setting those lines into place, right? When you're raising your eyebrows, which I can barely do because of my Botox, right? So instead of preserving your skin and your face in doing these exercises, you're actually doing the opposite. You're creating deeper lines. There's a Kodali product that I really do like. It is a, a beauty elixir. La Mere Lip Balm is very, 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 very precious. You know that Caudalie spray toner has some essential oils in it. So it's actually like a biphase product. The oils make up a very small portion of that toner, but it's actually a great toner to put on your face, especially because he used that gel moisturizer that wasn't very occlusive, which we know he's trying to avoid occlusive, but I think he was really trying to avoid was super emollient. I would, I almost never say to people that they should end their skincare routine with a toner because I'm kind of like, that feels a little like a waste. This one in this situation might actually be helpful where it's at in his skincare routine because it does have some oils in it that might help to lock in a little bit, just a little bit, just enough for him to go out on stage to sweat. I don't use a lot of it, but I take like a little, like just a little bit on my thumb there. This is a Jack Black lip balm. He honestly just said the whole motivation behind my own brand. It's that I want people to feel like instead of using it sparingly, they can use up their products every day consistently, use as much as, as, much as you want and get those results from your skincare products instead of treating them like they're precious and not using enough of it and not using it consistently and not using it daily and not re-upping every single time you need to re-up your skincare products. Usher just in one sentence, basically summarized exactly my goal with my own brand.
It's that I want people to, by all means, go get your bougie products. You know I'm a bougie girl. You know I love an expensive product, but you also have access to products that you're gonna use every single day and really see results with and feel okay with that price that you spent on it. That's truly what sets the luxury brands apart from those accessible brands, you know? You wanna be able to use them consistently and be happy about it. This is uh, an intense therapy for your lips. It's really, really good. I use this throughout the day. I keep it on me. Nobody likes dry lips, right? I love that Jack Black lip balm. I've talked about this for years. It is my favorite SPF lip balm. It's SPF 25. You know I always want higher, but when it comes to a lip balm, I'm kind of like, SPF 25 is great because you're constantly reapplying it anyway. It's not like you're not wiping it with your napkin when you're eating and whatever it is that you do all day long, you're reapplying your lip balm throughout the day. So SPF 25 and a lip balm is fine for me and it's the only lip balm I have ever used that does not leave a gross taste. It's actually a really pleasant product. I enjoy Enjoy using it. I mean, he's using it and saying that he loves it and he keeps it with him all day long. I don't know actually why he's using two lip balms now that I think about that, but that's okay. It just goes to show you're going to use a better priced product that I am, in my opinion, is a better product. It's superior because it has that sunscreen in it. You're going to use a lot more of that and keep it with you throughout the day. I agree, Usher. Nobody likes chap lips, especially when you're a heartthrob. We're staring at those lips. <laughs> La Cream Main Chanel product is really, really good. I love the way it makes my hands smell. That pretty much concludes my daily regimen. I have to tell you, I love that Chanel hand cream. It is not formula wise the best hand cream I have ever used. Even the scent to me is like just okay. But the packaging on that hand cream is unmatched. It's like a little egg shape and you pop the cap off and you squeeze it and the way it comes out, it's just, this is like the best packaging for a hand cream ever. And it is hands down like unmatched. It's like unmatched, it is the best. And for that, even though I feel like there are better hand creams on the market, I'll take this one because it's good enough because I like the packaging. I have really enjoyed sharing it with you. Peace to you. Oh, this is the wrap up and the beginning of me going back to my day job in Las Vegas for this Vegas residency. Now that we really, really, really got it done. Hey man, how you doing? Hold on to that for me. You hold that, there you go. Okay, cool. This is my home away from home, ladies and gentlemen. You got a chance to see it. I took you up close and personal. Hopefully you enjoyed it and uh, know that I did. Love y'all. Hope to see you soon here in Vegas. Peace. I really need to go book a ticket. That was a uh, soothing to my teenage soul. Honestly, I'm pretty impressed with Usher and his skincare team, but I already knew he liked his skin because again, we know that he likes to go get his facials from his esthetician. So proud of him for that. Love that he was supporting his esthetician from what I'm guessing, because I think those acne expert products were from his current esthetician. And love to see that he's, you know, he's looking real good and he's doing his residency. And of course he took his robe off at the end of it. So I was, I was thinking that this is the way the whole video was gonna go. He kept it really tame and conservative. And then at the very end, he was like, yes, I'm gonna be myself again. <laughs> so I love that. Anyway, Usher, loved watching that video. I hope you guys learned a little something from it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. You can also find me on social media. I'm on TikTok and Instagram at Susan Yara, and I will talk to you very soon.